Before you try manifesting anything, watch this video. Hey soul fam, welcome to the channel. I'm Rahoza, and if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, then a welcome. It is such a blessing to have you here on the channel. Okay, so this topic, the topic of today's video is very, very important to me. It is something I'm passionate about. It is something that I feel the manifestation space is lacking content on, or just speaking of this, I feel like it's not spoken about enough from my perspective at least, and it's all about desire. Our desires come from somewhere, right? They come from something higher than ourselves. And the way I really like to think of desire is like little clues from the universe, giving us signs, giving us little messages on paths to follow, you know, little breadcrumbs, as I like to say, to lead us to our ultimate soul's correction, our ultimate fulfillment, the correction of our soul, because that is why we come into this human experience to elevate our souls to higher levels. And that comes through manifesting our desires as well, because our desires don't just end with us, right? Or if they do, that's a limited desire. And I talk about this in my book called Becoming a State Shifter, all about how we want to come from a place of desire that doesn't just end with us. It's not just limited in what I can manifest and what is just for me, me, me and a selfish desire, but how is me receiving actually giving back to the world? Because if it ends with me, boom, it's limited. It ends with me, the energy stops. But when we're receiving something that then gets distributed outward. For example, if I receive money and then I give back to the community or I feed back into my business, which then helps the world, right? Whatever it is, if we are desiring something for the sake of sharing with other people, if I desire health because then I'll show up better for my family, for my kids, for the world, on camera, whatever, right? Our desires are clues for us on the path that we need to follow to receive our desires, which then helps our soul's correction because it doesn't just end with us, it gives back to the world. Now, what is very very important and what I want to emphasize in this video. It's not talked about enough on what kind of desire, what place are we coming from with our desires? Sure, you can just say you can manifest anything and anything you want is yours and it's possible. And there's truth in that. There is truth that anything you desire is a possible reality. It's a possible timeline. What I like to encourage people to do is reflect on why they are desiring what they are desiring. Because a lot of the times people think they desire one thing when in reality, there's something else that they're desiring. I see this a lot when it comes to like manifesting a self specific person or manifesting a soulmate is like people will try to force and control this one person to change and to form and mold into who they want them to be because well, I can just manifest it. And where is that coming from though? And this is coming from a place of feeling unworthy. It's coming from a place of wanting that validation that they're not getting. And if I'm calling you out, I'm sorry, but this is my opinion on the matter and I'm, I'm gonna make more content on this as well because it's so huge in the manifestation world. And it's on some level, it's good because it brings people into manifestation. Like, oh, how do I manifest my person? I know that it's a big draw into people coming into this world, but there needs to be a shift of desire. What you're desiring is not this person. What you're desiring is the feeling that you wanna get from this person. Because you feel unworthy, you believe they're going to be the one to just switch up and make you feel worthy. It's just not gonna happen that way. And also when it comes to different superficial level desires, like just wanting to manifest money or manifest a sexy body, whatever, you can desire those things, but it's not gonna bring you the fulfillment you want because it's not really what you're seeking. What you're seeking is to feel more confident. What you're seeking is to feel secure, is to feel safe. And I don't wanna put words in your mouth, but I'm just giving you examples of a journey that I've walked myself through and questions for you to ask yourself beyond the physical desire of what you want, what is the feeling that you want to receive from it? And maybe it's not the specific thing, but maybe what you're really desiring is that feeling. And it's that feeling you can tune into rather than the lack of the love that you're not seeing from this person. Okay. Your intention is everything. Okay. The way that you feel is everything. Where you are coming from is everything because where you're coming from, your desires are actually a direct reflection of your current state of consciousness. I'm going to say that again. Your current desires are a reflection of your current state of consciousness. So what are your current desires right now? What is it that you're trying to manifest into your reality? And I want you to ask yourself, is this a desire that is limited or unlimited? Meaning, does it end with you? Like you just want to fill some sort of void. You just want to feel that instant gratification. And this is hard to come to self-reflection with. I know I'm kind of sharing it in like a harsh way, but this is the energy that I'm feeling in today. And so that's how the message is going to come. But this is an important question question to reflect on. Are my desires coming from the right place? Am I limiting my desires? Like I actually went through this process where I was
was trying to manifest, I was trying to call in like very rigid, specific, kind of surface level, you could say manifestations. And I felt like it was soul sucking. I felt like I was just trying to receive things to fill a void. And I had to learn myself. I walked myself through this process of realizing things don't need to be this way. The way I shifted out of that state was I stopped focusing on trying to manipulate and change certain specific things in my life. I found that when I was trying to hyper control the outcome, of something or like a specific thing, I always felt like I was lacking in my life. I felt like I'm over here and what I want is over here and it's separate from me. And even though I'm trying to think like it's here, I, if something just feels not right in my soul, that's the only way I can explain it. If it feels icky to you, if it feels weird, that might be a sign that there's something deeper going on here and there's something to look at when it comes to this desire. What I'm encouraging you to get clear on in this video is what is your true desire beyond the surface level, beyond just manifesting a person to make you feel better about yourself how can this become an unlimited desire because these are desires that bring you closer to the creator closer to your soul closer to your higher self and leave you the most fulfilled they're not going to give you that instant gratification of okay you got what you wanted but now are you really fulfilled think of all the famous and successful rich people out there they have everything they thought they ever wanted and now they're the most depressed they've ever been because their true desire was not to get close to the source of everything the creator but it was to get the physical material things so it's not just about the material things because we can see you can have physically everything and feel nothing so our goal is something deeper our, our goal is this connection and relationship to the infinite source of light in this world and Kabbalah teaches it's like we try to chase the colors we try to chase just clarity or we try to chase just love or just money or just we think it's one area that we're chasing but if we chase the source if we chase the creator the light then all the colors of the rainbow are encompassed into this one thing when we truly understand and feel this connection to the creator to God then we're able to to expand our desires. We're able to think bigger. We're open to creativity, creative energy, which is the life force energy, God energy flowing through us. God will give you the desires and you'll know it's the right thing. And you'll know that it's right because it feels good for you to think about. It's not resistance. It's not like I feel so shitty about my current situation that I need this outcome. Like tune into truly how would you feel if things just worked out for you, things naturally aligned in your life. Now, I wanna briefly mention before I end off this video, cause we're getting kind of late, a a free masterclass that I hosted and I'll link it down below. It's called developing a strong self-concept. So you can watch that masterclass. It's linked down below. And if you would like support on clarifying your true desire and really tuning into the right desires that are aligned with your soul, that are aligned with your ultimate fulfillment, right? It's not limited. It's unlimited. If you would like support on manifesting those dire desires, getting clarity, calling them in, removing the blockages and the blind spots from you reaching them, then I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching slots available where you can choose from video calls, you can choose from voice message, audio message, texting support. I have all different package and different links at different price points. So if you would like that further support with me, then I'll leave all the links down below for you at your convenience. And once again, guys, I really, really appreciate you so much for being here, for supporting the channel and for allowing this to all be possible for me to bring this content for you today. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.